Hello, welcome. Good day to you, one and all. Right, so you saw us do a review yesterday of the nurseries, the Webs, what is it, the Webs Resort Group? Yes, Web, 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 Web Holiday Park. Web, 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 Web Holiday, holiday. Parks, and this is the nurseries yes. in between. It's near Mablethorpe, it's near Skegness, it's very near Chapel St. Leonard's and Ingham It's near everywhere. <laughs> now, we're going to be spending a vloggy day now with yes. the warden himself. The lovely Neil. Hello to you two. It's great to have you here, guys. Amazing to have you here. It's, Thank it's, you. It's another Neil. But we like this, Neil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't we? We like this, yes. Neil. Yes, and thank you for inviting us here, too. No, We've absolutely an, 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 an loved it. from Manchester now living in Lincolnshire looking after a campsite. No. <laughs> the other Neil we know is from Liverpool. Liverpool. You might know I him, yeah. 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 Um, um, also, I just want to add... There's uh, uh, Liverpool Connections here with, oh. a, with a band called Orchestral Manoeuvres in the Dark, which I'll tell you about. Orchestral Manoeuvres in... Yeah. OMD? OMD, yeah. yeah. OMD. I just want to add also... Your friends. Oh, go on. Doing our vloggy day to day. Oh, sorry. We're yeah. talking OMD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. friends. Yeah, they are indeed. So I look okay. after. I, I look after their Facebook fan page for them. Oh. I used to look after their website with them. Uh, the old fanzine days and photograph the gigs and. Oh, I've got loads of connections with Liverpool and Liverpool music. I can't say I ever got into OMD, but I know a lot of my friends were into OMD in about 1990-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 years they've been going, I that's how old we I all are. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if I know him. <laughs> so it's a vloggy day today, we're just yes. going to chill out. We're going to go around the area. We're going to yes. a museum, which is like a 10 minute walk away. We're going to go to a beach. Yeah. Um, but... What? The museum is like a model car museum. Oh, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Yes. And there's something miniature, a, miniature. miniatures. Yeah. And, and I love things like that. And uh, there's something a bit special there, isn't there, Neil? There certainly is. There's a big boys racing track with scale electric, four lanes, four, not two lanes, Dan, four lanes, four lanes with crash yeah. barriers, with crash barriers, oh, and brilliant. little people spectating. Buzzing. It's going to be good. Buzzing. So we're going to have a race on the scale electrics. Hopefully, that's the plan. Yeah. Um, but before we do that, we need a bit of practice. We do, we certainly do. So How we're only. We do that? We're going to go on a ride on mower, Mazzy. A ride on mower. <laughs> now, I've been a manager in a garden centre. I've worked at BQ. I've sold these things, but I've never been on one. I've never ever sat on one. Yeah, I've sold them. I remember talking to customers, trying to tell them the benefits of having one. I've never been on one. So today, we're both going to get on these. Uh, we're going to mow yeah. the full site, free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not really. We're not mowing anything. I have warned, Neil, that I am a bit of a Frank Spencer, and if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. But, yeah, let's do this. Are you excited? Absolutely. Come on, then, Neil. What do we do? You need driving lessons. <laughs> let's, let's crack on and build the machines. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mazza is getting her instructions now because apparently she's on the easy nice one. Nice and easy. It's a big bumper car. Big so, I've just going. sat on yeah. the orange one, and it did feel like a dodgem, you know, the amusement. So I'm looking forward to getting on that. Yeah. Crank the key to your right. Am I doing this as you're no. talking? Yeah, you can do so. Yeah. Put, 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 hold the foot down. It means turn the key when yeah, it says then, crank. Turn, right. Yeah, turn, turn, All turn the way it. to the right. Turn it to the right like a car. <laughs> Stand back, I don't trust her. We are having a fantastic time here, guys. The first two nights we've literally just been sorting ourselves out, sorting us washing out, as van out, cleaning the van. She's off, she's off. And now it's all about having a bit of fun. So that's how not to do it. Did you enjoy that? Fantastic. That was so good. And okay. the smell of diesel and everything, I love it. Right. Look how I parked it, look. I done all right, didn't I? Not really, no. No, <laughs> no you're not straight at all. No. Right, no. it's my turn on a proper machine now, a proper man's ride on mower. All right. So, all right, jump on. Now right, this, is, this, is, this is interesting. Right, so at the minute, it is in. <laughs> you gotta listen, honey. <laughs> a semi neutral. Right? <laughs> semi neutral. Semi neutral, but it's not a real neutral. Just be mindful of that. So to crank it on, 
put your, put your left leg on there. And that's going to That's act. why it did say it's quite hard to reach the pedals. That's why you see them all laying back like, like this. Ah, I see. <laughs> I wouldn't have reached this one, would I? So you will use that right. as an engagement to go forward and backwards, all right? You, you mean so, so you, an you, accelerator? It, it, it is sort of like an accelerator. You will use it. So that's sort of a neutral. That's sort of yeah. an accelerator. I don't know what so a neutral is. No. So so what, what we'll do, once we've started it, mm. if you push it down that way, yep. back it forward, and you'll go nice and slow, yep. and then to go backwards, you'll need to press it. It's like a clutch, and then up and over, and that'll take you backwards. Right. So, it's, so that's like a neutral sort of like a clutch so you don't need that to go forward so no this is uh, uh yeah you'll, you'll you're gonna like this dan that's just that's, for going back yeah right and then don't touch any of these because we're not going to put the decks down oh don't touch the decks you can <laughs> you can pretend you can pull this up yeah and you can pretend you're emptying grass oh that's well fun <laughs> so i don't touch that don't touch that whatever you do don't touch that okay right so left foot down put the crank, crank the key on over Have a mow around together. Should we have a little, just a little race up to the end of there, babe? Straight up, straight no down. You've no chance. I've got fast. Oh, okay. That's yeah, a but, but, but but you've got man maneuverability. Ah, and yeah. And I've worked out. I've got a turbo booster. You're not allowed don't, to don't touch use that. Don't a turbo booster. Don't touch that, Dan. You can you, 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 <laughs> can, you can give that a pull on the tilt. Yeah, but that's just emptying grass, isn't it? That's boring. <laughs> I want to know what that does. <laughs> don't, don't touch that. Don't touch it. <laughs> Try and pull it, and the, the oh, win, and, and the winner is because that was all about <laughs> maneuverability, not speed. So I think the winner has got to be Mazzy. Give <laughs> over, no chance. That was brilliant. <laughs> Thanks for that opportunity. That was well good, wasn't it? What fun, what fun. I'm applying yeah. for a job here next year. Yeah. My, my, my killing the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Say forward, backwards. I know what to do. A bit of a circle. Doing donuts there. Hey babe, you got your lawnmower certificate now. How many people can say they've done a donut on a lawnmower? <laughs> oh, brilliant. brilliant. Right, let's put the babies to bed. So Neil's putting the ride on lawnmowers in now. He's right over there, he can't see me. I want to know what this does, Mazzy. <gasps> no, no! 
Why did he say don't touch that? Because he must it do something. the blades down. No! Stop that. S stop that. God, don't be naughty. So we're about to go out for a walk, but we've come to say hello to this lovely little lady. Can you see her up there? Pigeon. Is she on eggs yet? She's on eggs. Yeah, she's on eggs. I don't know how many eggs she's got, but she's on eggs. Very nice. And apparently her boyfriend just follows Neil around all day long. Yeah, that's yeah, what he we were talking yeah. about, wasn't it? So why is the one piece of wood up there? So it's is that just pure luck and it's found it? It's pure and simple luck. There's a um, there's an electrical connector. Yeah. Where the wires go in a junction box. Yeah. And so the pigeons have been very, very clever and found um, found somewhere dead safe. Um, away from predators, and as I say, I'm guessing those eggs will be hatching. I think it's 17 days of incubation. I read somewhere. Oh, so, wow. baby pigeons. I ate pigeon last we, week. We, I was going to say I have eaten it, but we're not going to eat these ones. <laughs> not today. I've just put the light on here, and it is. It has made a difference, actually. Has it? Yeah, maybe too bright. Right, we're walking into the local village. What's the yeah. village called? Mumbai. 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 Population it's... of 552, I think. Somebody was telling me the other day. It's early time, then. OK. It's only a ten-minute walk. And wherever you go in Lincolnshire is bungalows. Bungalows. Yeah, bungalows. I watched... Bungalows. Right. I watched your vlog the other day, and you're on about bungalows and flats. That's what I've always said about Lincolnshire. It's flat. No hills. Um, I've never noticed the bungalow thing before. No, bungalows. But well, while we're here, would you like to plug your channel? So I have got my own personal channel, uh, Neil Taylor, which is very random. But the reason I've invited Dan and Mazzy here is I want to promote the role of being a campsite warden, basically, mm -hmm. and show what it's like to be a warden and um, the ups and downs and the, the fun bits. So if you go onto YouTube and have a search for campsite warden, that's where you'll find me. Yep. I'll leave a link in the description. And do check it out. Subscribe to him because I... He got in touch with us, what, two, two, three weeks ago? And he said he had a YouTube channel and I, I recognised your face. <laughs> and Sat on a mower. <laughs> you, were, you were actually riding a mower at work on a campsite. And it was interesting. And then you'd, you haven't put anything up for a long time. Yeah. But he's getting back into it now. I'd like to see you put in two or three up a week. Oh, I don't know about that. What, 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 what would you vlog about being a campsite warden three times a week? Honestly, just... Just film yourself on the mower, film yeah. yourself cleaning the toilets and talking yeah. about it, oh, telling little funny stories about what people have been up to. Oh, I can yeah. show, I'll show you some photographs in a bit of toilets. Ooh, Ooh. You don't want to, you Ooh. Don't want to know. <laughs> but Neil also is going to be getting, behind not behind the scenes, but extra footage of our day to day. Yeah, yes, so we are planning. We yeah. are planning tomorrow. I think Neil's going to ask us a few questions on what, what people want from a campsite, maybe. Yes. I don't know. And if it's okay with Neil, I'd like to ask him some. So if there's yeah. any something specific you'd like to ask him, put it in the comments tonight. Be too late, Mazza. Oh, it'll be too late, yeah. yes. Because this isn't going on till tomorrow, tomorrow. so. Oh, okay. But we'll ask Neil some questions, see if we can get some gossip on on uh, being a campsite warden. <laughs> yeah. Con confessions of a campsite warden. Yeah. Ooh, I hope you're know. starting to write, <laughs> taking notes for the book, Neil, because it'll be an interesting book. <laughs> So we're about to, we're walking down Coots Lane here now, so you're starting to come up to um, some beautiful houses, well kept, and they've got some amazing flowers in the gardens here. We did notice driving up here that yeah. uh, there's some lovely little villages. Yes. A bit like Norfolk, just some beautiful little villages. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing this local one. I told you Neil were a bit strange. Why? We're at the Red Lion, and Neil just said, the thing I like about here is the flowers with the bees on them. Yeah, what, the about, what about, the what about the, the beer? The <laughs> <laughs> triple, triple X, Dan, if you like a bitter, it's really good, I can promise you. <laughs> it, it is a good pub, I've seen pictures of uh, Neil's vlog. And they actually do food there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the road, but just watch this road, because it is mad busy at times. Um, let's try to not there is a 13th century church there. <laughs> <laughs> 13th century church there, which is not in use anymore. Might have a look around that in the next few days. Yeah, this is a bad road for crossing. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> For such a small little village, I'm very surprised there is a museum here. And yeah. it is open every day. So, I'm sure the guy will tell you the story about why he's, why he's here. Ah. I'm not really uh, an investigator, but he's obviously been a model car collector, hasn't he? Race day continues. <laughs> We're going to race ski electrics. How exciting! It is <laughs> the model cars at Mumbai. We've got one on the wall there, look. Oh, I love anything like this. I love it. Come You're so on. I am competitive and I am going to win. Oh, here's, here's this young man who I popped in yesterday. Yeah. This is uh, Dan and Mazzy. Yeah. Here we are. Here is the race course. Oh my gosh, it's bigger than I thought, isn't oh. it? <laughs> this is incredible. <coughs> look at that. Now, the first question I've got to ask this young man who owns this place <coughs> Do the cars come off the track? Always. Yeah. <laughs> so even a big professional setup like this, the scale electrics still always come off the track. Oh, we're just about to get a demonstration of how this works. That's the car would work. Or the handset. Oh, no. We've got, oh. A we've got, we've got a technical. The usual scale electrics problems. Oh, we're well. off. Yeah. Ah, see how he's slowing down with the corners, Mazzy. He's, he's sussed it. I built it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I smell. I love that noise. <laughs> That's incredible. <isn't> <laughs> See how it used to be a, a farm, a derelict farm. Bought and turned into a museum. I am in the cafe area. I'm not selling anything today, I'm not working here. Got some nice There's cakes. a better picture of that. There's a better picture of what it looked like before. What, you drew that? Very good. Isn't there a very famous rally driver just died this week? Another one. That's mine. Oh, wow. That's Walker. No, oh, you're very good. That's what happens at Art College. Oh, it keeps going, Matthew. It was all the way around here. There we go. That oh is this bit. It's brilliant. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, how long have you been doing this for? We moved here in 1992. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Taking a few years. Well, I had to do the house first. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right, let's start at the very end here. Yes. I do like this because it is showing before and after yeah, pictures. It's the history of the building, which is yeah. just as interesting. So, this is the range was originally supplied by a local company from Spilsbury. Uh, this area was full of rubbish and brick rubble. Look at it now. Yeah. It is beautiful. I wonder if it's actually in use. All right, so we are in our element here. All cars, toys, boys' toys. Cars. Batman, Batman. I say Batman. Yes. If you're getting flashing on this, sorry, it's, I've got the camera yeah. setting wrong and the lighting's flickering. It's not really flickering, but it, the camera's making it look like it is. So there's so much here, I can't pinpoint anything really, can you? I mean, it's just all wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a matter of enjoying it rather than filming yeah. it, I think, has it? It's lovely listening to old men sharing their experiences of what cars they had as kids. These two are so excited right now. I've had that since I was a kid. Uh, we've just seen someone here and these are cool. That one's made out of soap. That's got random coins in there for some reason. We've got one up there with Smarties in it. They are discoloured, going a bit off, but very cool. We've got a money box one. Money box, a, a radio, two pencil sharpeners, air freshener. Yeah. Just a really good collection. Yeah, the ones which got Neil excited then was... Where was it? James Bond, I think it's this one, the seat ejector. Yeah. yeah. The seat ejecting James Bond, he had that as a kid. And I don't know, this rings a bell to me, as does the Batman one he was just talking about. 
which fired matchsticks out of the top. Anyone remember that Batmobile? You have to really look, don't you? Mom? Yeah, there is so much here. Now, as a little girl, I was saying earlier, I was given cars and stuff for Christmas. I loved it, but I never got anything extravagant as this. You know, mine was probably just for Woolworths or something, but I used to get packs of them. Yeah, I used to get them Micro packs. machines. And I loved cars as growing up. But what, um, what's great about here, I think it's the kind of place you really want to walk around with the guy telling yeah. you the stories of each one. Yeah, a little bit of sort of history and stuff. And he's yeah. happy to do it. He's happy to yeah. do it. <laughs> can hear Neil getting really, really excited. His voice is going up and up and up. You yeah. know how you start talking to someone and then you get excited and then you start going like that and then you, you end up like that and you're like that by the end of it and you're really excited. There's two men over there and he's just like that, you know. I wouldn't mind. He was only here yesterday and he's still excited again today. <laughs> what I love about this place, now I don't know if they allow beer at these do's in here, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that would be good though because later on today they've actually got a big group of farmers coming in to race down on the track today. Can you imagine just coming like 15 yeah. local farmers yeah. going in here. Where are we? I'm lost now. It's that big. Uh, coming in here and just racing away four at a time. All the lads sat down here having a beer. That'd be cool. But I'm not sure they're allowed to be. I don't know what the licensing laws are, but to... man, men's toys. Men, and I know it sounds sexist, but it is. This is for men. This is like a man's room. I'm a little bit excited now because we've got Back to the Future cars here, the DeLoreans. Oh yeah. Um, I've actually been in the DeLorean when I went to Florida. It was so cool. The one that was in the movie. I told you you'd come back from fu fu future. <laughs> You're not normal for this day and age. I am. Come down here though, you've got the Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. I thought you were on about this. Uh, oh, I love pimp. the Cadillac. Yeah, the Cadillac. <laughs> oh, that is my dream. That's we ever get pimp it? From Scarface. It was a, it is, it was isn't a, it? It's Scarface. It was a little boy came in. Yeah. And he saw that and he went out and said to his mum, I've just seen Elvis's car. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's come and camera set up. In a minute, I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. We're about to race. We're about to race. Green. Maybe yeah, just put that on there. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Red. Oh, it'll hold it. Red is going to win. I'm yellow. This is going to be so much fun. We have actually got a lap timer up here. Um, and a little thing which turns green, you know, when to start pressing. It's all about the corners. Just don't go too fast around the corners or you're going to come off. But, so am I the don't tell them. Car? But you've already had a practice on You're the machine old. today. Right. You, I haven't had, have had the warm up. You two have had warm ups. Oh. You've had decades of warm ups <laughs> and lawn mowers. Oh. It's alright. Have, have a practice first. Ah. Right, I'm off. I'm off. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Big oh. pile up. Oh, children, children, children. <laughs> That's me. You know when it goes green? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, oh no! And then I'll put them back on. Oh, I'm fired! You two got me off. Uh, yeah! Oh no, no, no. Come on, Dan. He's giving me a dog here. Oh no! I'm winning! Ah! I'm winning now! Oh, oh come on. I'll be honest, I spent most of my time filming. He oh, did yeah. not. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah. Stuck in the corner, crashed up. You know why down. I lost? Oh, here we go. The excuse. Cats on fire. <laughs> it's your job to put my car back on. You didn't do it quick. He purposefully did yours quicker than mine. Cheater. Um, I, think, I think the secret is to bring your own car putter on or assistant. That's what I'd do if I came again. 
I've got something at my caravan for you. Like for me? That. I've just remembered, you must remind me later. Okay. When we pass my caravan, I've got Ooh. something in my cupboard. Mm. So I'm going to, I, will, I will give you something when we go for, for winning. I've got something. For winning? Prize. That's so good. Check this bin lorry out. It's drifting all over the place. The little on, man on the back hanging on for dear life. It's on the red track, which was my track. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have been better off driving that. <laughs> so I want to give this place a bit of a plug. It's called On Your Marks. Okay, so if you're in the Great Yarmouth, Mablethorpe, Chapel St. Leonard's, Skegness, where did I say? I said Great Yarmouth, didn't I? I meant Skegness. If you're in that area, it's like 10, 20 minutes drive away from there. Uh, get yourself here. He'll let you have a race on the scale electrics, which yeah. is great fun, and tell you the stories of all the uh, cars in here. It's really fascinating. Um, can you see the website at the bottom there? Go check it out. So that was an incredibly fun day of racing with Neil. I think I preferred the lawnmower bit to the scale electrics because I came last at that and I won at the lawnmower competition. For some reason there was a prize for winning scale head tricks but not the lawnmower competition and Mazzy won it and here was her prize from Neil. She won a gold cup. Um, very lucky. Um, right, some sad news I'm afraid. That's why Mazzy isn't here at the moment. Her nan passed away. Uh, she just found out a few hours after that uh, after we were doing the scale electrics, which was yesterday. Uh, Nan passed away, 99 years old. So Mazzy is really, really upset, as you can imagine. Um, not sure when she's going to be back in the video, so please just understand and bear with us. But I did want to get this video up tonight for you. Um, there is some super thanks. We have to give some thanks here to Heather, Fire Gui, Mark from Stoke, Kim Funston, Yankee Doodle, Caravanning in Caravan, I Dexy, Shirley Devine, Julie Baldwin, and Miller's Bar. Thank you all so, so much for your support. We've noticed as, as income has actually gone up about 20% in the last month, all because of Super Thanks. So it's really, really helped us out. So thank you so much for that. So, yeah, hopefully a video tomorrow. Can't promise anything. You're just going to have to bear with us. You can obviously understand it it's quite a sad moment uh, we're still on the campsite luckily we are in a very very lovely peaceful campsite and if you know if you're going to have a bad day this is the place you want it really it's just so serene so we'll see what tomorrow brings but uh, bear with us thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the racing see you all later bye bye